Israel Adesanya, the middleweight champion of the world right now, gets the win over Alex Pereira. One of the last, I think actually the time before the, after you were the backup fighter, the time, it would have been a year since we had spoken and we had, we had talked about you and Israel Adesanya. We were talking about you and Adesanya as a possible fight because the great Shale Sonnen put that out as an idea. That was like, you thought to yourself, Ooh, this is actually pretty good. But is that something you're still eyeing at some point? Like let's go up to 185 and fight Adesanya because you feel like at some point he's going to move up to 205 and try to slay that dragon. But do you feel like you and Adesanya could get some business done before he does make that move? Absolutely. I think that's a, that's a huge fight, you know, and it's a, a fight of high magnitude. So I like the matchup, to be honest. I just, I don't think he can hang with me. I think I take him down. I beat him from pillar to post and I just break him inside that octagon. He can't hang with the cardio king. And I've been doing extra in the cardio to get my bedroom cardio right. So, you know, he's not ready for Bra America Steel and Twisted Sex Appeal. So, you know, I would love that fight. Champion versus champion, you know, USA versus wherever he's from, New Zealand or whatever. And, and, you know, let's get this going. But, you know, I don't think he wants to fight a, a high-level wrestler like me, someone that can just keep up and be in his face the whole entire time, pressure him. He's not, I'm not just going to shoot one takedown. I'm going to shoot 5,000 takedowns and be in your face and break you. So, you know, I, I would love that fight. You know, if, the, if that's what UFC wants to do, I'm here. I'm a company man. I'm a businessman. So I care about the company and whatever the company wants to do. I want to do the biggest and best company, biggest and best business for the company, the UFC, greatest organization in the world.